What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, drop a like down below, comment anything in the comment section, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for joining me, man. As always, we're going to start out with the prize pick of the day, baby. Let's get it. So, prize pick of the day. I'm going to go. I saw an interesting stat earlier that I found, and I, and I was like, oh, this is, this is a good one. All right, so, Drew Holiday. Over 5.5 assists today on Prize Picks. Drew Holiday over 5.5 assists. Now here's the thing: 15 of his last 16 games against top defenses in the league, he has gotten over eight assists per game. So he steps up against great defenses. Cleveland's one of the better defenses in the league. Cleveland's offense also is one like middle of the pack against assists allowed to point guards. I love this spot for Drew Holiday. I think once again, he shows out again. Like I said, man, it's 15 of his last 16 games against the league's top defenses. He has gotten over eight assists, and his line is at 5.5. So I'm expecting over on the assists for Drew Holiday. So Drew Holiday over 5.5 assists. Remember, 100% match up to $100 for your first time deposit on Prize Picks. Use code Green Light when you make your deposit to get 100% match up to 100. So if you deposit 100, boom, easy $100 bill from your boy. All right, let's get straight into it, y'all. So first and foremost, I got to go right back to it because it's just – plain and simple obvious. Denver has been horrible versus point guards. They're giving up a ton of assists. They're giving up one of the most assists in the league per game to point guards. They're giving up one of the most rebounds to point guards. This is a triple-double spot for James Harden if I've ever seen one in my life. Now, they did just play yesterday, so maybe if you want to be like, oh, maybe, you know, he comes down and, and you know, doesn't do too well because of it being a back-to-back. -back. Maybe go Jokic instead, who also played yesterday. So, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, but I do have Jokic projected higher than Harden, but Harden in this situation, I got to roll with James Harden with no Kevin Durant, no Kyrie Irving. I mean, it's still just plain and simple. It just is what it is. He's a fantastic option. Sort point per salary now that we got our stud in here. Cameron Johnson is the number one sal uh, val salary play, value play on the day for me. He's priced at 4-3, and I have him projected over 30. Uh, love Cameron Johnson in the spot. Jay Crowder out. We already know. DeAndre Ayton out. JaVale McGee out. With that being said, one of my other favorite values on the slate is Bismack Biombo. Really love Biombo here in this matchup because Phoenix is has no options at center. Biombo is a guy that can put up a ton of fantasy points in a, with a quickness if he's getting his minutes. I think he should be able to get some solid minutes here with JaVale McGee being out of this matchup and DeAndre Ayton being out. They're incredibly thin at for big. So love Bismack Biombo. The only way this doesn't turn out great is if they play really small here. All right. And if Utah starts uh, Bagazi or however you say his name, uh, Goga, uh, then Bismack should be able to play some solid minutes matching his minutes. All right, so I love Bismack Biombo as a value as well. Other guys that are popping out to me. Once again, Jacob Podol's up here for me uh, in, in play options because once again, I talked about him in the high five yesterday, right? The blowout didn't matter. He still hit value. He hit 6x value yesterday at that price tag in 21 minutes in a blowout. Because of that, they didn't play their full allotment of minutes, so the back-to-back -back doesn't bother me at all. I'm expecting over 30 minutes here, as long as the game stays compet competitive here against Memphis, which is predicted to stay close. This is a game I really li like, like having some exposure in. Steven Adams isn't a chump down low. As you can see, I like him as value as well, because I think he plays a good, a good bit trying to neutralize Poto a little bit down low, but that doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, Jacob Podol has been having an amazing season, probably one of his best seasons of his career. He's balling out, plain and simple. He has been incredibly consistent, and he got 6x in 21 minutes last night in another good matchup. So expect Jacob Podol to hit value here. Not only did he hit 6x value in 21 minutes yesterday, but his price dropped because it's a back-to-back. I'm right back on board, man, honestly. Um, I'm still on Podal. Uh, there's nothing that can get me off of him at this point. Um, last but not least, I kind of debate between this spot. Uh, I'm going to lean with Patty Mills just because Denver has been bad versus guards, and I really like this spot for Patty. With KD and Kyrie off, I mean, one of these games that these two guys are off, Patty's going to have a big game. We know Patty can get hot from deep. We know he can drop crazy points out of nowhere and at 5k he just feels pretty safe for 5x in my opinion 
I mean, he's just in a great spot with two studs missing out of the offense. I get James Harden really controls a lot of this offense in this in this situation. But Patty Mills in a plus matchup here against a Denver squad that struggles versus guards. You have to expect the last person that Denver's really caring about is Patty Mills when it comes to who to defend on this Brooklyn squad. You know they're going to pay most attention to Harden. Um, so Patty Mills should be able to get some open threes with the focus, you know, being on Harden. We'll see what happens. But Patty Mills, plain and simple, under 5K, starting, playing 30-plus minutes, no KD, no Kyrie Irving. I mean, it's a recipe for success more oftentimes than not. Now, obviously, it could turn out bad, and that would be unfortunate if it did. But at the end of the day, he's getting a good usage bump, should play 30-plus minutes, too cheap. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, cash game floor, 5X. Normally, I like to shoot for that 6X range. Um, could he hit 30 today? Sure. I haven't projected at 28, slightly under 30. So that's almost 6x this price. So like I said, I, I normally will shoot for 6x is my goal for every one of my players to hit at least 6x their price. Um, so Patty Mills is in a good spot to do that. I think he could definitely do that. He could also have a huge game here soon um, if he gets hot from three, of course. So James Harden, Cameron Johnson, Bismack Biombo, Patty Mills, and Jacob Total is the high five. Remember, Drew Holiday over 5.5 assists is the prize pick of the day. Reason being, 15 of his last 16 games against top defenses in this league, he averages over eight assists per game. The line's at 5.5. So I'm going to take my shot at him doing it again against a top defense in Cleveland. Cleveland, man, I mean, when LeBron first left, they were struggling. And now defensively, like, I don't know where that came from. But defensively, Cleveland is great. So I really expect a good game out of Drew once again. They are a top defense in the league, so expect him to hit that assist total again. All right, thank you guys for joining me as always. Let's get this money, baby. Greenlightdfs.com, join the squad, and I'm out. Peace.